This is true. This is true. This is true. Legalize nuclear bombs. Okay. Stop this bitch up. Don't worry about the sparks. Okay, let's do the little groove for the e clip. Hello, John John. Hello. Hey. Now that we've started this little groove with the Dremel, um, if you keep going through, it's just going to be like that thickness all the way through, and it's way too thick. So, you just make yourself a groove with it, and then you just start hacking away. Now, if you have a slightly larger brain than me, um, now would be a good time to turn the drill press off and then test fit your e-clip. But the thing is, my brain is small and I've run out of this size of e-clip. So I am going to move on to the next step. Now you want to start cutting it much higher than you want it because it's going to dig in because of the shape of the cutting bit. Generally what I like to do once it falls off, because you can see there's a very pointy point on that. Just file that off, as well as this edge here. Because that will slice you pretty good if it gets the chance. So I'm gonna take this remainder piece out of the drill chuck. And I've just realized that it's incredibly hot because I've been cutting it with a fucking Dremel. So in order to not burn myself, I'm gonna pick it up with a pair of pliers like that. You'll notice that it has a very shit finish on it at the moment. And the head, this end bit, is a bit too thick. And it doesn't have that nice, like, rounded shape that the Markman ones have. So, we will tighten this by the bottom into here. We'll just run it to check that it's running nicely. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so. And then, it's a Dremel job again, just to trim it down. end of the dremeling bit and then we're just holding some sandpaper against it to get it nice and shiny looking there we go and then hold it right up against the bottom try to keep it still because that is what creates that beautiful sort of radial machining pattern that you see on professionally turned things so it makes them look a lot better than they actually are i'm gonna have to take this guy out That there is a pretty damn good crank pin. And if you need to, you can come back later with the hacksaw and adjust the groove or whatever. But um, that's how you do the do.